Hello, welcome back to Erica Little Welsh Garden. It's Monday today. I'm not sure of the exact date, um, but I'm down at the plot. I've been here since about nine o'clock this morning and I've got loads of stuff done on plot 22, which is my first plot. Um, I peeled back the plastic today and fully exposed the whole allotment now for the rest of the year. So it's really exciting. I've got loads done over on that plot. Um, but I thought while well, I'm just um, taking a little bit of time to have a little rest, I would show you around my new plot, which is plot 24. And um, it's great because it's just next to the shipping container, which is full of all of the tools and things like that. But because the shipping container is on a concrete base, it doesn't quite go to the end. So I have a lovely little perch here so I can sit and look at the new plot and I can do my plot over there, which um, is great. Um, I'm really happy today. Like I said, I've got loads and loads of stuff done. So um, I feel like this now is kind of the beginning of the season. I am so far behind though compared to everyone else. You know, I'm watching everyone and they've potted up their tomatoes like three times. I am not even there at potting them up for a second time. My pumpkins aren't in. Um, yeah, it's a bit scary actually. I feel like, you know, I'm going to let everyone down. Not that, you know, I need to worry about letting anyone down because it's, it's, um, it's not about that, is it? But I feel like possibly I'm going to be letting myself down and not having loads of food growing this year. But I feel like, you know, it's going to be good i've got already lots of stuff done but i've been putting the infrastructure in which means next year the year after i can you know really reap the re rewards from that so yes anyway i'm going to show you around the plot now and then i'm going to get back on over to plot 22 and um finish what i started So here's plot 24. I'm really pleased with this plot. It does look quite overgrown though, so nothing like the last plot that I took on. Um, there's a raised bed just here on the right and there's one over on the left. I'm not sure what was grown in those last year. Then this was the brassica bed last year and there are some leeks still in the ground here. And as we go down, we've got some raspberries here and then i'm not sure what was in this plot kind of area here because they had the other plot next to me i think they possibly just let this you know stay as grass and they never really worked it but i'm not sure so i have to find out um we've got some um chard there and then if we turn around there is some broken bed that needs to be um taken to the tip there is a roller um, composter here, but I think this was on the plot a long time ago and it doesn't work, so that probably just needs to be taken to the dump. This is the compost heap. Not really had much of a look around it at all to see, you know, what it looks like underneath. But you can just see there. And it does actually look like one that came in a kit because you can see here that there's kind of dowels that went through it. So, um, yeah, I'll have to have a look at that in more detail. That was possibly here before Brecknock actually took on the plot, though. So, um, yeah, quite interesting. And then we have a wildlife pond. Now, I have so many questions and so much I need to read up um, regarding a wildlife pond. So, um, there you go. But I'm pretty happy. And, you know, I wanted to get a pond anyway on my plot. So, yeah, that's pretty cool. Also, in this area here, I did notice there's French drains all over the plot, but there are lots of stones down here. So I think this is a part of it where there is a drain across here. So possibly that is why they left this area kind of overgrown, because at the end of my plot, it is really waterlogged. Um, but there you go. So I haven't measured it yet, but it is bigger than my plot um, which is over there with the green um, the green compost bin. But there is so much potential here to do stuff. And especially, you know, if there is a French drain there, that's not going to be a problem because there are things that you can grow in pots. And I want to grow lots of flowers and things like that. So it's not too bad. But also, you know, if I go for a polytunnel on this area then this is 
kind of the area that I'm thinking of putting it. And I've just realised, I think the wood here that is broken is possibly from the composter. I'm not sure. But yeah, along here, obviously, it just, it's been dug over loads of times. So it, although it is weedy, it's not going to be too much work to get that back in order. Um, and I think they did have carrots growing somewhere. So there is some nice um, sifted soil and stuff around. Because this site used to be um, just kind of a derelict piece of grassland. There's quite a lot of broken bottles and things like that here. Um, yeah so i am so happy though please give me lots of advice um and lots of ideas of what you would do with this plot um what i am going to be doing possibly tomorrow is just getting the black plastic from my plot and putting it over some of that grass just to stop all the dandelions and things like that going to seed everywhere possibly i'll let the dandelions um flower first just so um they give the bees and the pollinators something to um, feed on but yes very exciting <sighs> what a day um, after doing the plot tour for you earlier today um, the committee one of the committee members turned up and filled me in on the meeting that they had yesterday they have a meeting once a year where they kind of talk about who's giving up their plots who's taking on new plots and um, a good kind of way for people to introduce themselves to each other but unfortunately I wasn't able to attend so they filled me in on it and I was explaining to them that I'm definitely taking on this new plot and they said that um, with the new plot I did have to keep the wildlife pond because there was tadpoles in it and I was like yeah that's absolutely fine because I want to keep it I want to grow things in there I want you know there to be thousands of tadpoles so thousands of frogs eat all of the slugs and stuff on the plot anyway so yeah I'm absolutely happy with that um, and he also said that the tumbler that I did speak to you about a minute ago didn't I um, the tumbler does work but I think they're planning on moving it so um, it's, it's not mine um, but you never know it might be left there and in which case that'd be pretty cool I've never used a tumbler before but you know they're, they're meant to be better aren't they so you know it's quicker because you're tumbling it around and stuff um, so yeah that was um, all pretty good so it's officially mine I just need to pay so I need to go up there again tomorrow to make um, payment for it but then yeah it's definitely mine so I'm really happy also they are planning on um, buying in a load of topsoil and loads of manure and they were like oh yeah we'll just dump a load on your plot which was um, yeah pretty nice but to be honest it's really lovely um, ground there anyway so there's some other plots that aren't you know in as good a condition on the plots that probably need it more but anyway I'm not going to complain if they want to give me some you know more soil it'd be really good to put on a no dig bed or something like that um, one of the gentlemen also is really handy and um, said that they could build me some raised beds if I wanted so they've got some old wood there and stuff and I was like oh I thought to myself well I can actually make some raised beds myself but then I was like well if you want to make them for me that's fine um so hopefully he asked what size i wanted and i was like well, just whatever size um you can make for me so hopefully if i get some raised beds made for me that is going to save me so much time because i just don't have any time as it is so um yeah they are going to make me some raised beds and hopefully that would be a really easy way for me to put carrots in and stuff like that so um yeah really exciting really positive i have um, a full day of gardening tomorrow i have a morning on wednesday of gardening so i really feel now that i'm getting you know earlier today i said that you know i was really worried about you know letting myself down really but now i kind of feel quite positive but you know if i can't grow as much this year then you know i'll be able to grow more next year so um yeah really excited anyway as ever i am going on and nobody knows i'm out here i sneaked out of the house so probably people are looking for me now and um yeah sorry i look an absolute state but um it's been a really good day gardening so i hope you've had a fabulous day and i hope to catch up with you soon thanks very much for watching if you're new to my channel and you have enjoyed this rambling on and my plot tour then please hit that subscribe button and ring the bell so you'll be notified of all of my latest videos 
as ever i have so much planned i have a video already filmed from today from plot 22 so that's going to be out in a couple of days as well so please um stay tuned for that thanks very much for watching take care bye